here in Raymore Park, which is part of the Weston neighborhood of Toronto, and it's a residential neighborhood that is right adjacent to the Harbour River. But on October 15th, uh, 1954, Hurricane Hazel had a major impact here. Uh, the floodwaters uh, that resulted from the amazing rain that fell during Hurricane Hazel wiped away a huge amount of Raymore Drive, which was a residential neighborhood here in Toronto. So, when the floodwaters of Hurricane Hazel swept along Raymore Drive, 35 people were killed and up to 40% of the street was completely obliterated. Homes of Raymore Drive were found floating up a couple of kilometers upstream um, of where they originally stood the next morning. As a result of the tragedy at Raymore Drive, uh, the area was never redeveloped and now instead in its place stands Raymore Park. And an even bigger effect of uh, what happened here during the events of Hurricane Hazel was that we started to really think about the way that watersheds, river valleys and floodplains needed to be managed both in the GTA but throughout the province of Ontario. The TRCA, Toronto and Region Conservation Authority, already did exist at that time, but it was new. And as a result of what happened here, um, the powers of the TRCA were expanded so that our Conservation Authority would be able to control and regulate what happened in floodplains throughout the Greater Toronto Area. Minimizing the amount of stormwater that runs off from our properties into places like the Humber River is just one thing that we can do as residents or homeowners or landowners in the watersheds where we live. And there's a number of ways that we can do this. Things like disconnecting your downspout, installing a rain barrel, or installing a rain garden are all ways that we can keep stormwater from just being dumped directly into watercourses like the Humber River behind me here. If you're curious about how to minimize uh, stormwater runoff from your property, the TRCA has a variety of resources on our website. So where I'm standing now in the Babby Point neighborhood uh, in Toronto, right by the Babby Point Tennis Club, was once a major Seneca village site called Tayayagon. The village of Tayayagon, uh, we know through both oral tradition and archaeological evidence had up to 5,000 people living here at one point. The Seneca village that stood here was destroyed in 1687 by French forces who were interested in controlling the movement of goods up and down this, uh, this part of the Humber River. After the French destroyed the village of Tayagon, they built a, a fur trading post very close by and they started to trade with the Anishinaabe groups in this area, including the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, who had their own village site afterwards, very close by, near the site of the Old Mill. So this historical site, located near a Temperle Park along the Humber River, has been the site of mills since 1793, when the original King's Mill was built here to provide lumber for the growing town of York. Although the current old mill, restaurant, spa, and tea garden is not the original old mill that was built on this site, you can tell that it was built in the same architectural style and in homage to the original building itself. So mills and mill structures that looked a lot like this one were really important landmarks in the early Toronto landscape, and many of them dotted the Humber River. These structures provided wood, grist, and flour for the growing town of York, which is what Toronto was called at the time. So the Old Mill Bridge is a really recognizable landmark um, on this part of the Humber River. And the bridge itself was only built in 1916. However, there have been bridges in this exact location as far back as 1837. This accessible spot along the Humber River is a really great place to enjoy the river itself. It's a great place to come bird watching. You can watch great blue herons and great egrets fishing from the bridge itself. It's a great place to launch your canoe or kayak. Um, and lastly, it's a great place to watch the salmon run in the fall. So we're currently here at a very important part of the Humber River that was part of the Carrying Place Trail, also called the Humber River Portage and the Toronto Portage. This important route connected Lake Ontario to Lake Simcoe and through that the Upper Great Lakes. 
The Toronto portion of the trail ran up the east side of the Humber River, and then it split somewhere around here in what is present-day Woodbridge. One side of the trail went east, the other side went west, and they connected different parts of Lake Simcoe to the Upper Great Lakes. In 1793, Lord Simcoe and the Queen's Rangers built Young Street, present day Young Street, and this trail fell out of use because there was a new and more efficient and direct route from Lake Ontario to Lake Simcoe. For more information about the Humber River, please visit our website at trca.ca.